All right, we just cut a track. Looks like he's dogging a doe out over this ridge. Bad day to be a deer. Like, nope, that's a deer. Dumped him. Did you? I think I did. All right, we just cut a track jumped into a signpost that Ben knows of and sure enough he scraped it up last night or early this morning. Looks like he's dogging a doe out over this ridge. We uh, soaked up the hat a little bit. Had buck bee on it yesterday and a little bit of tink 6-9 today. Gonna give it hell. See if we can't double team this one. Uh, open season. Bad day to be a deer. <laughs> what do you think? See, it's a bad day to be a deer. Things get, might get interesting. All yeah. signs are looking right. See what happens. It's a little chilly. Maybe get still warm as out. I think it's worth saying here, even though we're deer hunting, keep your head on a swivel. I'm staring up into the deep end, off to our left, into that little valley. It kind of flattens out at the bottom. I'm just staring up into it, trying to make sure, see if it's a deer up in the corner. I thought I saw something and just wanted to make sure. Throw the gun up. If it runs off and you can tell it's a buck, you already have the gun up. It's one step less that you have to maneuver when you're already excited just to be out on a day like today. At the bottom of the valley, nearby to 2,200 feet, we started going back up, seeing a fresher track going back the other direction, and it took us right to the top of the mountain. You can see here we're starting to get into some thicker stuff. Once again, it's inherently said to look around when you're deer hunting, but looking here, my eyes aren't just looking out in front of me. They're off to the side. They're looking behind me. They're looking to the right, the left, forward, out beyond what I can even shoot at, and just continually searching. Right here, we're getting towards the top of the mountain, nearby to 33, 3400 feet, and starting to crest over. This buck was following a doe for a long while and then ended up splitting off of her to feed. And right in here, he bedded down on the hillside. I had to switch out the battery a couple times and then we caught him feeding, not 10 minutes after we saw his bed. Dumped him. Did you? I think I did. Oh my God. Right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. He might get up. Oh, he's right there. Mountain top buck. Look at that view, dude. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm losing. Woo! You. I thought it was moose. I'm, I, I saw it. I swear to god, it was a moose. I saw it dip its head. I was like, son of a bitch. Oh my god. Where's his fucking tracks? 
Where is that? Right here. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that buck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at that view. What a show this is going to be getting this thing out of here. Oh, that is what I want all year. Oh my god. Literally all year. That was what happened. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh my god. I owe you big time. Give us the interview. Here? Oh. Thought it was a moose. That's crazy. This deer's name is Moose. And unload this thing. Hang her up for the season. All done. <laughs> what a box. I'm pumped for you. Um, Dude, that's exact. I don't give a shit about a 150 inch deer. That is a that's so much cooler. <laughs> that's so much cooler. We're right. just up there going, what is he doing <laughs> up here? Yeah, this is the this is the stuff we're in. God, that's crazy. I don't quite think he'll go 200, but... He's got a big body. He does have a good body on him. Oh, my word, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a big body. I bet that's an old deer. I like that rack though. Oh. Simple. Well, five miles into the day, and uh, we got a buck named Moose. We uh, we are on top of this friggin' mountain. Come around a corner, and uh, this track has just been traversing the whole way. He just bedded down. We looked at the track and go, he, he's got some time on us. That, that track's not a quarter mile behind. It's not even no, a couple, couple hundred yards. Yeah. And uh, I saw it and, oh, it's a moose, it's a moose. Put the binos on it and it turns around. I could see its ass looking away and that white tail down. Like, nope, that's a deer. And I didn't think he had a ton of headgear coming up because he was going through some pretty small stuff but I didn't really care with a, a story in a place like this looked back at Ben and said you ready and turned on the GoPro I think I got it I'm not sure I'm shaking like a leaf already we gotta walk out of here <laughs> I might even say I start dragging that way and you go back to the truck and go around yeah because it's gonna be a ways you're gonna you're gonna be holding that thing up the mountain it's gonna drag you down yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> but we'll uh, give you a look at him. We're taking a bunch of pictures. We, uh, I want to remember this one. Yeah, you gotta appreciate that view. Middle of the day. Here he is, the uh, the 2022 mountain buck. Tracking is something that I haven't been great at in years past, and really made up for it today with uh, moose. Wow. A uh, hell of a main buck. His head is absolutely covered in spruce. Um, ice all over his head. And he's got four points. And I couldn't be happier. Um, said it all year, if a four pointer was 200 pounds, if I had a good story, um, I would make it make it into my tag book for sure. Took a first shot after I told Ben that it was a moose <laughs> and noticed the antlers and had taken him. Put one shot on him and he he dropped right here and then came up and put a finisher on him just to make sure. We're gonna take a bunch of pictures. Um, can't thank Ben enough for getting me up here into the woods and being a part of this. I'd, I'd hate to do this alone. It'd really suck. It, the memories are so much greater when you got somebody doing it with you. So, can't, thanks man. Oh, that one's special. Let's take a look at the foot on this thing. Yep. Yeah, I'll follow.
follow that any day. Good deal. All right, my phone is covered in blood, but we, uh, we're all packaged and ready for transport. Got the uh, legs up on the horns. Yes, I know they're not horns. Sorry to Mountain Deer too, I don't have a sled. And uh, up in these mountains, I'm not walking all the way to the truck to get one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, torpedo method's gonna have to do it. I'm going down this way. He's gonna go up and over back towards the truck and shoot a monster on the way back. And then I'll come over to help him, so. See you in a minute. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm a pretty good skier. This is nuts. That's the mountain. Ooh, we did it. This is dragging right now. Ooh. This is the fastest way to the road right here. Oh. Getting the buck out and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a look at this hill I just had to come up. Ooh. Look in there, holy cow, man. If the camera's shaky, it's cause I am. Oh my gosh. That's probably 70 feet overall down to the water. Through the stream, up and out. 